how important it is knowing the camera which you have in your hand knowing your camera is i can't i can't stress how important it is to know it camera is is a tool that's going to help you get the photograph that you want and if you don't know how to use your tools it's only going to get in the way you want to be able to take a photograph without having to think too much about how to change the settings of your camera because if you have to spend a lot of time thinking about what to change and where it is or which button is it um, it's only going to you may you may miss a shot that shot might not be there if if you have a, a a DSLR like this one there are a lot of buttons that I don't even use I don't even know about all the features of my camera but the important ones that you should know I mean you need to understand the relationship between aperture speed and ISO and even on phones with some of the apps now the wonderful apps that are available on phones you can control all three of those basic part parameters of a photograph you need to know how to quickly change the aperture for example so if you want to change the depth of field quickly you don't want to waste time trying to find how do i change the depth of field which which setting is best for my depth of field you need to know that instinctively it's got to be part of you and that's only going to make your photographs better it, it takes time to learn that I, i mean i didn't i didn't know a lot of that and i had to spend i had many mistakes because i did not know my camera as well as i should the same thing with the tripod um there are all kinds of dials and things to twist to get the tripod to be where you want it to be i remember the first trip i went on with my tripod and i spent more time trying to figure out how to how to use it and i lost so many good pictures because i didn't understand my tripod um on the camera be, besides the iso and the aperture and the speed i think a few other dials and buttons that you should really get to know is how to freeze your focus point on your camera i think it's it's very important to know how to freeze the focus point so for example if my subject is not directly in the center but i want my subject to be in focus but i want my subject to be off to the side what i want to do is i want to focus on my my subject and then freeze that focus so that the focus does not change and then i can move my camera back to the center and my subject will still be in focus it's very important and it'll only make your pictures better if you know how to freeze your focus and and the same thing is true for freezing the exposure so if you focus on your subject and then want to recompose your picture move your camera somewhere else you don't want the exposure to change for your subject so you need to know which button on your camera or what setting that gives you allows you to freeze the exposure of your of your camera i i think if you know those five things your aperture your speed your iso and the relationship between all three and if you know how to freeze your focus and if you know how to freeze your exposure you're off to a really good start and you'll be able to make some beautiful photographs and notice that i said you'll be able to make photographs i did not say take photographs because what we're doing as photographers with our skills is we're making a two-dimensional representation of what we see in our three-dimensional world so you're making your photograph